Assalamu alaikum everyone. So I've got this question here. Uh, it's a third question. So let's get started. Let's try and have a go at it. The point A is shown on the grid below. The point B is 2 root 5 units from A and lies on the intersection of two grid lines. Write down the possible coordinates of B. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to off the grid draw the a point A and the point A, not a point, the point A at 1 1 and a point B. I don't know where point B touches point A, right? So I'm going to connect these two with a straight line. And what this question is telling me is the length of this straight line is 2 root 5. Okay, so what I can do is connect draw a red line and a green line to make a right angle triangle okay and then I can apply the Pythagoras theorem although I don't know this red length and I don't know this green length okay but it says that point B lies on the intersection of two grid lines that means it has to be a positive integer in this graph over here so the Pythagoras theorem states that well, I'm going to call this side side 1 and this side side 2 and that's my hypotenuse so I know that s1 squared plus s2 squared side 1 squared plus side 2 squared is equal to hypotenuse squared in my question here hypotenuse is 2 root 5 so when I square the hypotenuse that becomes 2 root 5 squared apologies for that uh, 2 squared is 4 root 5 squared is 5 4 times 5 is 20 so I'm looking for two positive square numbers because I'm going to have to square S1 as well as S2 to get 4. So I'm going to write a list of square numbers. So just write there square numbers. And I've got 1. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25 okay I'm gonna stop because everything over here is going to be way above 20 so from these numbers I can see that if I add 4 and 16 I will get a sum of 20 right so 4 plus 16 equals 20 so either s1 can be f so there's two possible situations situation 1 is s1 is 4 s1 sorry so s1 will be 2 square root of 4 which is 2 and we're only looking at positive ones here and um, s2 is s2 16 I don't know what's happening here let's try and fix that s2 squared is 16 so s2 is going to be square root of 16 which is 4 that's one situation so b will be so this distance in this situation the first situation would be 2 and this would be 4 the red situation that means from the point a you go 2 to the right and then one, two, three, four up. So that's one possible point for B. And the coordinates of that are what? One, two, three, three, five. And so light issues with my pen. Three, five. Okay. Fix that. That's I'm gonna call it B1 because that's point for B okay the second possible point for b would be when s1 is 16 so i'm going to do the working out on the top because i don't have space at the bottom over there so s1 squared is 16 
so s1 would be square root of 16 which is 4 so you're gonna go 4 across 1 2 3 4 and then s2 is 4 so s2 is square root of 4 which is 2 so you're gonna go 4 across from point A and then 2 up 2 3 4 across 1 2 up and that's going to give you the second point second possible point for B2 and that point is going to be 5 1 second So those are the two possible answers for the point B. Hopefully it's an interesting question. Um, I've tried to explain.